Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we're talking love and marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today, we need to talk about who all is allegedly shut down, you guys. What is happening? I think something weird is going on. Just walk with me on a couple of things. And we're going to start with none other than Carlos King, you guys. Before we get to Phonics Unhooked, right? Because it's all going to tie together, right? So prior to today... The past couple of Carlos's, you know, Sunday messages, if you will, where he claims that he is speaking wisdom to the people. However, it always ends up in some backhanded type of shade. So we had a few weeks back where, um, you know, initially he was saying that, um, you can't be everybody's, everybody's not going to be, uh, you know, your type of taste or whatever. Um, and that if you are everyone's taste, then that means that you're cheap and that you should uh, strive to be expensive taste. And that basically if people can afford you, that you're not that expensive. Shout out to Martel, you guys. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, that was that. Then there was another Sunday message to the rain drizzles in which Carlos King said that problems could be a blessing and, you know, was talking about how basically God's going to come in and intervene and solve everything and, and all of these things, right? And specifically made a uh, mention about marriages, right? And whether or not a marriage needed to be saved or if it was, you know, or if God's going to give you the power to walk away, which I found very interesting interesting considering the source who likes to push for problematic couples to remain together for the sake of tv ratings you guys a complete 180 from this sunday message right so we want to fast forward to today you guys right and today was interesting because today was a prayer <laughs> Carlos King led in prayer, but walk with me, you guys. Walk with me on, on how this flips, right? Because initially you think this is a September prayer. This is nothing but positivity. Carlos King finally gets it. It's all about, you know, understanding the assignment, not being too busy to take time for yourself and love on yourself and all those things and, and counting on God to make things happen on your own time and, and all these things, right? But then you remember as the video plays on that this is Carlos King. And then he's talking about, we don't need to feel like, Lord, that we are always being punished uh, for feeling like we are being held accountable for things that we didn't do. And I was like, wait, 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 what? Held accountable for things you didn't do, Carlos King? Is that a projection? Because what is it that you feel that you were being held accountable for something you didn't do if you are causing mess and causing chaos and being unprofessional allegedly and trying to do these you know sneaky plans behind people's backs that keep blowing up in your face what do you mean being held accountable for something you didn't do you're being held ac accountable for something you did do and you got caught Allegedly, right? So so that was one piece, right? And, uh, you know, <laughs> and then also said as well that he doesn't want to feel like, Lord, that he is always being punished, you guys. So not feeling like he's being held accountable for things he didn't do and also feeling like he's being punished. So is it self-inflicted punishment, Carlos King, that all of these negative things you try to do to sabotage this show have completely flopped? So now you feel you're being punished as a result of the ratings, as the result of these weird hiatuses that are not in alignment of what you are announcing to the people on your messy Monday show. So, so what are you and Dr. Hovland going to talk about tomorrow or is that going to be canceled for the holiday as well? Since there was no new episode that you waited till the very last moment to announce is there were still fans tuning in until they realized it was an episode, I believe, from July that aired? No, 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 no. Uh, so that brings me to none other than Phonics Unhooked, you guys. Who shut her down? 
Who shut her down? Finally, right? Who got that video and videos removed, you guys? Who did it? Which one of you was it or was it owned? Who are all the players that are in trouble right now, you guys? And is Phonics Unhooked still going to go on live today and allegedly reveal whatever 24-hour window she gave Martel Sidechick to expose herself uh, that, that nobody cares about, you guys? What happened? What am I talking about? What was shut down, Anonymous T? What are you saying? Well, you guys, there have been some lives that have been removed, you guys, on Phonics on Hook's channel, you guys. What am I talking about? What what videos, right? Well, the most recent video, you guys, is the one where she is going after hardcore none other than Dr. Shanita Foster, you guys. And when she is calling her a man and she is calling her all of these names and she is making fun of Dr. Shanita Foster being an unalive survivor and you know, basically Phonics Unhooked had her facts mixed up per usual and assumed that this was a recent thing and, and, and that this wasn't attributed to when she was previously on reality TV on the Football Wife show and that basically with all the hate and all the negativity she was receiving unnecessarily, but it wasn't even that as much as it was the insults and being called a man, being called a transvestite, being called all of these things, right? And that had nothing to do with what she said or did on the show. And, you know, saying that, you know, making those allegations that, you know, hyping up Dr. Heavenly and Carlos King and hyping up about, you know, the comment about Martel, you know, that Elaine made that, uh, you know, he likes climbing trees and all these things, you guys remember all of that. And remember Phonics Unhooked having a key at all of this. And even people in her chat telling her this wasn't it. This wasn't a good look. And she still wanted to try to double down. Well, guess what? That live is nowhere to be found, you guys. And I find the timing interesting. Because we have, like I said at the beginning, right? We have the breakdown of, you know, the slow change that Carlos is trying to do on his Sunday messages that are just full of mess, right? But now he's trying to make it seem like everything's all rainbows and flowers, right? Now he's trying to, like, pull you in into the positivity, right? Before he goes messy again. Just like he randomly out of the blue liked a Mel post in the first time in forever after Mel calls him and Dr. Heavenly out for their Messy Monday shows and, and specifically what they said last week, right? And I found it peculiar that Mel, although she's been doing her TikTok lives this week, she didn't directly address the Phonics Unhooked and Dr. Shanita Foster stuff, right? But she said in her own way, if people were paying attention, what she was and what she wasn't about, right? And what was cool and what wasn't cool, right? And I said, yeah, this is not going to end well. And remember Phonics Unhooked also spilled that there was supposed to be a new episode that was supposed to air yesterday, you guys. And that there was going to be more things that she had smoke to say and more smoke for certain people, you guys. And she was about to practically reveal the episode, except for the episode that she was about to reveal actually never aired yesterday, you guys. See, follow me, right? Follow me, right? We go from all this messiness from the executive producer and Dr. Heavenly, right? We have Tisha's mom continuing to take it up a notch and going further and further below the belt. It reaches a climax just like it did on the show where you're lying about the paternity of people's children. You're allowing things to escalate to violence. You're trying to actually hit somebody from behind to incite, you know, World War III on set, take zero accountability, and did fake apologies and hope that that would keep you on the show, not because you were genuinely sorry, as evidenced by all of your videos in which you say you are not sorry, and you don't feel you deserve to apologize to anybody for anything.
which means you do not feel like you've learned anything from any mistakes you made. To now mocking people's mental health, mocking, you know, somebody being open and vocal about their struggles and how all of this hatred and all of this negativity and how far people were going was a trigger from when they had an own attempt on their own life and you made fun of it and had the audacity to compare it to your late niece, which opened a whole nother can of worms. Because now you're once again inserting your late niece when nobody asked and you always insert her when it's always about drama and negativity. So now you've pissed off the family once again who's grieving with all this foolishness and there were people who were backing up your tomfoolery and I was like I don't think these people realize the magnitude of what just happened because I saw some of you guys in the comments that were like listen we're going to report this video because it's not cool so but it's not just this video there have been some other videos that have been removed as well you guys and 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 i feel like all of this is linked together because this is another example whether phonics unhooked is on the show or not she is a liability but it also ties into the negativity and the um toxicity that carlos king is running at the network with his shows and then we have Winter from Love and Marriage DC, who I haven't even had an opportunity to even break that down yet. And which she is confirming a lot of the things that Mel is saying, and she's taking it a step further to expose more how down and dirty things are at own, at working for Carlos King and Kingdom Reign, and how there were times, I believe she said, that there was one point in time where it took up to three months for them to receive a paycheck? And that there was something else, I believe, that uh, because they were upset on one of their cast trips that they took, that the production people were not happy, that they were not getting enough content that, you know, was negative or that was causing drama and this and that. They decided to change uh, the date of their trip and, and decided basically to kick them out of the trip early. And they all had to be responsible to find their own way home and their own transportation, their own flights home and everything else because production was not happy that they thought that they were going to try to, you know, gaslight everybody and try to uh, get everybody to fight with each other and all these things. And when that didn't happen, decided to just send them home, except for they had to be responsible to be sent home, which debunks the narrative that production pays for everything that Tisha and her mom desperately want you guys to believe in speaking of Tisha. Conveniently, you go live out of the blue when there's no new episode, Tisha, you and Kimmy. And it's interesting, right? Because as much as, you know, Phoenix and Hooked and others hype up Martel, Tisha says it's still smoke for her and Martel. She still has issues with him. He's not relevant to her, which would mean she's still pissed off at all the instigating that Martel's been doing. And now he's inserted Tisha in it and allege that she hooked up with one of his boys. And also allege, per that mid season trailer, if the show comes back, that Marceau and Martel allegedly were hooking up with the same women at the same time. But it seems only Tisha has this beef and wants to utilize the reunion to go at Martel. It seems that Marceau is fine still taking pictures with Martel as of last week when you had the vow renewal of, you know, Nell and Chris Fletcher. And I find it interesting. Everyone now is on an anniversary trip. Nobody has anything original. So, so Nell and Fletcher, they renew their vows, right? They're celebrating, you know, whatever anniversary, right? And now all of a sudden, the Scots 1.0 and 2.0 are on an anniversary trip? Oh, okay. All right. All right, well, whatever floats your boat, you guys. And then Tisha said that she's going to come out with T-Squad merch. <laughs> 
you know, the same family that spent all that time dragging Mel for releasing quote unquote t-shirts only for Marceau to be pictured in a black with a QUE t-shirt everywhere he goes, including leaving for this romantic getaway. And Tisha to, of course, be in that team wife merch on the airplane, you guys. And it's like, for all that stuff that you talked about, Mel, and her promoting her businesses and her having the 7th Avenue t-shirts and, and everything else, God said go, and all of the merch, only for you guys to do the same thing. When's the last time you guys wore a war normal outfit to anything? You guys are in your black with the QUE t-shirts or, or in some other type of, you know, variation of it, right? Whether it's the black uh, uh, the black t-shirt with the white lettering or the white t-shirt with the black um, lettering or whatever. But you clown Mel for that and said that she just sold t-shirts. Make it make sense. But then Kimmy had to ruin it, right? She had to ruin the moment because... Tisha actually was trying to give Mel a compliment, and I don't know if it was genuine or not, but basically said that Mel planned a really good trip, because I guess when you see excellence for yourself, you guys, when you actually see people who have actual money to spend on things, and not the lie that production paid for everything, because they wouldn't know opulence, even if it stood right in front of them. Here goes Kimmy in the background, you guys. Well, you know, we're on a trip now where we, we don't have to deal with any of that messy stuff of, of trying to choose a room or anything. Really, Kimmy? Really? Why would you need to choose a room on a couple's trip? Can you make it make sense? You would all have your own individual hotel rooms or your own individual villas, would you not, Kimmy? Like, 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 don't insult the intelligence of the viewers, right? Don't insult the intelligence of the fans. But this is why people drag you, Kimmy. Because you cannot help but say something completely messy and out of order. And it was completely and utterly unnecessary. And that's why there was no epi new, new episode, right? Because the other thing that Winter revealed was that, uh, you know, obviously you get paid by the episode. And I noticed, Kimmy, you and your husband are missing in a lot of episodes this season. So, again, please keep the same energy on camera that I know you're not going to. But nonetheless, uh, don't try to throw a conniption on the room thing, right? Because we can truly break this down if you want to. Really, if you really want to go there, right? But nonetheless, uh, you just cannot help yourself but to get in a jab to Mel, and it always backfires for you. Tremendously. Do you want to talk about your husband's DUI instead, allegedly? And, you know, what was on his face? And what the time he told Funky Dineva to say on his platform of the actual arrest versus what was actually on the police report? Do you want to go down that road, Kimmy? But you have so much to say about everybody else. You have so much to say and be in everyone else's business. And that's why I mean, you guys, I think a lot of people are in trouble. And I think there is, a, you know, there is something behind the scenes that they're trying to do to salvage this. But I think that if they try to do something that's going to make matters worse, they might as well just not even bring the show back as far as I'm concerned. Is it the season finale for real for real this next week? Because Tisha keeps talking about how excited she is for the reunion, right? So I presume that the reunion should be filming soon then. If they still have not filmed this reunion, right? And we would get the reunion presuming we still get the last set of 15 episodes that apparently they're still trying to rework, right? And we would get the reunion presumably by the end of this year, right? Like December, the end of this year, and perhaps of uh, the final part or final two parts or whatever in January. But nonetheless, this season, we don't need a three-part reunion. There, there's nothing to talk about. So this is going to be a very interesting to see what is going to come of this. But I, like I said, I think there's some people in trouble because all of this is not a coincidence. Mel calling out 
the unprofessionalism, the tomfoolery, the buffoonery, calling, uh, referring to Dr. Heavenly by Elaine, Elaine getting ran off of her own live on Instagram, and allegedly uh, her license is in jeopardy or people are threatening to uh, do something to her license. Like, like, it's just insanity. And then you have, you know, all this messy commentary, all of these inappropriate lives that Phonics Unhooked is still doing, you guys, and trying to go so hard and so below the belt against Dr. Shanina Foster and the most disgusting things to say, you guys. Only for the video now to be missing. Only for the alleged episode that she almost completely spilled that was supposed to air yesterday is nowhere to be found at all. Because didn't somebody else in the family allegedly get in trouble for talking to bloggers, for allegedly spilling secrets and all the things? And you even said in this live where you said yesterday that you were going to give um, Martel Sidechick 24 hours to reveal her own tea, you boys. Again, spilling other people's business or spilling what you've heard, right? and admitting on the platform that you're going to tell another blogger exactly what the T is. Basically, all of the things that all of you accuse everyone else of doing, that all of you accuse Mel going to Melometers and Mel supporters channels and, and telling them T and, and alleging that Mel is saying all these things to leak scenes in advance for months. You guys were doing content over foolishness, over things that had no receipts, no credibility. But it was people who could critically think and put two and two together and had no inside sources that were associated with the show or the show's family, but saw the direction of the show months before any of you did and did commentary on it because the cast themselves exposed it. But nonetheless, you, you guys are, again, some of you are so tunnel vision. You're, you're so focused in on one thing. You don't see anything else. You don't see all the pieces leading up to where we are. And where we are right now is at a crossroads, you guys. But there is something brewing that we're going to have to pay attention to. But I think people are misdirecting you, you guys. I think people want you guys to follow down the wrong roads on purpose and get upset about things that are never, ever, ever going to happen. So that when the real thing happens, you're going to be caught off guard. But this is something to note. This is huge, right? You can't just be making fun of, you know, unalive and, and, and unaliving jokes and all of those things, which is why I'm glad I did that video exposing the BS. And people had the audacity to twist it around and make it seem like it wasn't a big deal what Phonics Unhooked said only for that video to be removed, you guys. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.